To shape the Argus possibility curve, we need four parameters. Location, dispersion, skewness, and kurtosis. While the dispersion parameter indicates the variance around the center of distribution, the skewness dictates the asymmetry, the upside risk or downside risk. The curve's tailness, or how thick the tails are, is defined using the kurtosis parameter. The combination of the kurtosis and skewedness parameters yields the curve's balance of risk. Each of these four parameters can be adapted in response to changes in the market, and this ability is a key feature of the Argus possibility curves. The set of plausible market drivers that might affect the shape of the possibility curves define the Argus universe. The model initially starts without a driver from the Argus universe. This is also where we first make a calculation to account for error. The error balances two objectives, one being the fidelity to the data, and two, the model's complexity. In the next iteration, the algorithm determines both the best combination of the drivers in the Argus universe and in which parameter it should be added to. In this example, the algorithm decides in this iteration that the location parameter warrants two drivers and skewness one driver. As the algorithm performs this iteration and determines which driver should be included and with which parameter, it is also working to reduce the error factor from the previous iteration. The algorithm doesn't just consider adding drivers, it also considers removing them from a parameter. As you can see in this example, the X2 driver was added to the skewness parameter in step 1, but was removed into the Argus universe in step 2. The drivers are not only considered separately, but can also be joined to create a new dataset or a derived dataset through feature engineering. In looking at this example's skewness parameter, X1 and X3 are in the same box, which means that the combination of X1 and X3 into a new dataset helps to minimize the error factor. How many iterations does the algorithm go through? The algorithm continues through its iterations until the error factor cannot be improved further. The resulting distribution of drivers among the four parameters can best explain the Argus possibility curve's shape. Now that the algorithm has determined the optimal distribution of drivers among the four parameters, it now needs to consider if the parameter should be linear or nonlinear. In other words, assessing what and how big each parameter's effect is. Basically, to do this, the algorithm adds a function to each driver. In this example, the S function is selected from our universe of functions and applied to the X4 driver within the location parameter. One of the ways we assess a nonlinear relationship with the S function is an approach based on the concept of weighting observations locally. As you can see in this example, the model only considers the observations around the point in which it is estimating, which you can see here as the dark blue points. As we weigh the observations of the driver linearly, a nonlinear relationship starts to form without knowing that relationship in advance. To sum things up, the algorithm behind the Argus possibility curves is able to select the drivers, assign them to the curves' four parameters, and estimates nonlinear relationships. The algorithm is also modeled to adapt to rapid changes in the market, an important feature in how it supports decisions. Focus on the data-driven insights with Argus Possibility Curves.